Hi, my name is Rebecca Kurt. I'm HubSpot SEO Manager, and today's course is brought to you in partnership with SEO.com. This is the first of a three-part series, an introductory course that's going to focus on how to improve your on-page SEO. On-page SEO is an influence of relevance and authority, both of which are driven through content. Within that content, it's important to make sure that your keywords are included and placed within specific areas to make sure that the people doing those searches can actually find you in the search results. There are a few simple things that even the most novice website owner can do to improve their on-page optimization. The first thing is optimizing title tags. Title tags are the first thing that people will see about your company when it shows up in the search engine results page. Some best practices when it comes to title tags are 1. Limit the amount of characters to 70 so that your whole title will appear on the results page without getting cut off. 2. You want to place the most relevant keywords towards the front of your title. And 3rd, and lastly, you want to create a title that compels the user to click by using a unique sentence that describes the page accurately. Short and sweet normally works best when it comes to titles. Another simple thing that business owners can do to improve their on-page optimization is to optimize their photos. Make sure that when you upload photos to your website, you optimize the file name with keywords and fill out the alt text with a brief description of the photo. Two things you shouldn't worry about when it comes to on-page optimization are keyword tags and keyword stuffing. Google no longer looks at keyword tags to rank pages. Although it's important to place your targeted keywords on each page of your website, you need to make sure that you're not keyword stuffing, which is repeating that same targeted keyword over and over on the same page. So if you're a local business like a restaurant, a hair salon, or dog walking service, ranking locally works a little bit differently. The first thing local businesses need to do is make sure they list what's known as a business address citation. This citation is simply a list of the company name, the address, and the phone number, in addition to a description of what the business does with targeted keywords. One key to ranking well locally is to have this exact same citation appear on multiple sites across the web. Another thing that will help you rank better locally is to have your company reviewed on high quality review sites like Yelp, City Search, Google Plus Local, and Angie's List. So we're going to leave you guys with four pro tips to make sure that you can actually get your pages perhaps indexed a little bit faster if you're first getting started. One, you can actually add your site to Google directly. So this is for people who are just getting started. It's literally going to google.com slash add URL and you can submit your site. Tip number two is to help you figure out whether your site's been indexed. So if you've been doing SEO for a while, you may want to know which of your pages Google has. So if you go to google.com and do a search for site colon www.yourdomainname.com and then hit enter, you'll see a results listing of all of the pages that Google has indexed. Tip number three is for local businesses. So if you're a small or niche business, you want to make sure that people within your geography can actually find you. So add yourself to Google Places, Bing Local, and Yahoo Local. Tip number four is actually a spreadsheet that we're going to make available to you to download. So to help you with your on-page SEO efforts and keep it organized, go ahead and download our step-by-step -step guide to on-page SEO.